On our fourth day in Thailand, we finally went to Chetuchak Weekend Market together with our cousins. And I can still remember how humid or hot the weather was. And it was totally fine since we were having so much fun that afternoon. And our cousins decided to take us to this really cute hole in a wall to get lunch. And since the place was actually packed, it only goes to show that the food here is great. And this time, I went for the crab meat fried rice. But we've also had pad thai for sharing. To say that the crab meat fried rice that I've had that afternoon was great is an understatement. Just because it was one of the best fried rice that I've ever had. The day is just getting started and we still have so much to do and more street foods to try. So we didn't waste no time and started strolling around. So the main agenda was to buy some pasalubo. And Chetuchak Weekend Market did not disappoint at all. Cousin JV helped us with the rest of the hogling. Because who doesn't like discounts, right? I myself got a pretty huge deal on some of my purchases. What I like the most about Chetuchak is that I didn't feel any sense of danger around me. It's almost like anybody can confidently show off their expensive gadgets without having to worry about somebody snatching it from their hands. And to me, that feeling is incomparable. After a while, we decided to go to Bangsui Junction, just right across Chattachak Weekend Market, to see what's in store for us. Bangsui Junction, also known as the Red House or Red Building, is the place for people who are into vintage items. And there's no need to say that most of them are really expensive. I forgot to count, but this mall has plenty of floors. And it's a bit exhausting to just check them all out. So we found ourselves back to the Chat to Chat Weekend Market. Going back to my tita's house, I convinced everyone to try riding the tuk-tuk for the first time. And it took a lot of convincing before they finally gave in to my request. I know it sounds ridiculous to some, but riding tuk-tuk was a part of my itinerary this trip. And I did not regret it even if it costed us a lot. I always thought that tuk-tuks are slow-moving, gentle vehicles. But that's not always true. And obviously, I underestimated it. Surprisingly, it can also fit all four of us human beings. After almost an hour of tuk-tuk ride, we got off at Central Mall, where I saw this Japanese cake store and immediately bought four pieces of custard cakes. I can always remember my mom buying Japanese cakes like this when I was a kid. And nostalgia hits whenever I see one. And obviously, it's not the same like what we used to have. The night came and Tita Chris invited us to JV's condo union and greeted us with the warmest of welcomes. Because 
and after that, they gave us a tour in the rooftop. The rooftop's too high that you can see almost all of Bangkok, and I can't help but gush over the beauty of the city, thinking, what if one day I get a chance to live in this country? Dinner time came and they took us to this really good restaurant inside the mall. MK restaurant has about 400 branches all over Asia, including Japan, Singapore, Indonesia, and Vietnam. The very first branch of this restaurant was established in 1962 in a one block commercial shop in Siem Square, Soi 3, and has since grown into a successful worldwide business. There are so many foods in the menu, but my favorite, this roasted duck. With so many mouth-watering dishes on top of the table, it's going to be really hard to focus on just one. The foods are so good that Tita Chris was actually able to cook some porridge from a leftover soup. And boy, it was so good! It's our final day in Bangkok, so we decided to go around the city and spend all of our remaining Thai bats. We took the train to Siam and got off at Central World. God blessed us with a very nice weather, which allowed us to explore the city even more. And as for me, I didn't miss the chance to get my favorite Thai milk tea brand. Cha Tra Mu is a staple milk tea brand in Thailand, and it's mind-boggling to know that it only costs 50 baht here. And again for lunch, my last common kai. Well, at least for this trip. There's not much difference in this common guy inside the mall compared with the ones from the street food market. This one's just more expensive. After having lunch, my brother looked for this only Thai food that he's craving for. Thai style roti. And luckily, he found this store. Watching how rotis are being made is quite fun and entertaining. And it shows that it requires a lot of skills to be able to make one. It is also very honest of them to cook it in front of you. Then we headed to Pratuna Market for some last-minute pasalubong shopping. I asked mom to take a walkie shot of me on this bridge because why not? Thanks, ma. Pratunam Market opens really early but also closes really early. So you better get yourself moving if you're planning to buy a lot of things. This corn kernel with condensed milk is such a cheap find, and it's so good. Seeing the day as it closes to an end is a bittersweet moment for me, to be honest. I've waited so long to be back here in this country, and spending five days here just ain't enough. 
And so I told myself, why not just seize the day? I didn't want my day to just come to an end, waiting to board a plane and leave Thailand. So I went to Siam Square all alone, and there I found this really cute self-portrait studio. I didn't know what else to do that afternoon, and I don't have much money left. So I've spent my last few Thai bats in this self-portrait studio, which is kind of fun, actually. After the photo session, I passed by this mini studio and got curious of this group of people screaming. And to my surprise, it was actually Chris Perawat they are screaming for. And Chris Perawat is actually a pretty well-known BL actor in Thailand. There is still so much to see in CM Square, but it's time for me to go home since we have a flight to catch. In the evening. <laughs> Tita Chris's husband, Tita Irwin, surprised us with this only Korean buffet for dinner as a special treat for my birthday.